MustangMedic.com. 1970 Mustang Coupe. Go see. Getting intel. Another morning, another opportunity to find a Mustang. I'm going to go look at a 70 and a 69. So here we go. And uh, take a look at these guys. We're going to be able to offer them up to you if you want them. Just email me and let me know. Take the kids uh, to school, too. And, yes, I cut myself shaving, so... See, no, no, don't look at this red dot. Just don't look at this red dot. <laughs> the wife's coming along for a ride. And we are in the deep recon Mustang Medic vehicle. Oh, oh, you got the, she just tapped the screen so it focused on her. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, guys, here is a 70 coupe. Are we, are we following you or are we uh, taking this car? What are we doing? Love it. It's got dumps on it. It's got surface rust. Not seeing any rod on her, so that's good news. It's got headers and new uh, pins for the sway bar. A little bit of surface rust. Looks like the uh, power steering pump's leaking a little bit. Oil pan uh, is a little pressed in. She's a daily runner. She drove over here, so dumps, headers. Everything appears to be straight on the lines. Hood's a little bit forward, but that's just a, a simple alignment problem. It's relatively straight, thank you, honey. Okay, little touches of chrome. Looks like a 302 to me. Gonna confirm that in a moment. But uh, looks relatively clean. She's warm. See a new fuel filter. It is an air-conditioned car because it's got the bracket. It does not have the compressor on it. So it is an air-conditioned car. That's good news for the coupe. Body appears to be straight. Here's the interior. Actually, seats are in very good shape. Missing its little cosmetic cover there. Seats are pretty darn good shape. Green carpet, white seats. Needs detailing on the dash. Looks like it's got a. It's got a good. It looks like a good uh, dash pad on it. Shifter needs to be fixed. Radio's missing. There's the air conditioning, as I suspected. It's got a separate separate temperature gauge, which is always good news. Means they're concerned about the engine. Needs pads. But. <laughs> This car, yep, this car is a rust-free 70 coupe that uh, I could offer you guys, so she looks good, body's solid, so we're going to go take a drive in her now. Rims are just old rims, but they're all right. How many miles are on it? How many miles? Doesn't know? It's got some cheap tin on it. Oh, it's got to come off. This has got some rust underneath here. I can feel it inside the vinyl, but it's solid. Can you pop the trunk for me? Alright, this car is uh, within about a half an hour of Mustang Medic. 
So if you guys want it, and I've got three of you that are looking for a 70 coupe, email me. It's a Mustang Medic Alert, available Mustang, rust-free 70 coupe, with the exception of this bumps that are in here. I'm getting underneath and looking at it. It's pretty much surface rust. But there is there is surface rust on it, but I don't see any anything that's going right through. Yeah, so this is what this is is surface rust right here underneath the vinyl. So the vinyl's all got to come off. The car's got to re probably repainted, obviously. But Carlos, could you start it up for me? Oh, don't, don't shut the hood. Thank you. And Carlos is going to start up the engine now. It's a 302, Carlos. 351? Oh, it's a 351. No no signs of knocks in it at all. It's a 351, 70 coupe. Do you mind revving the engine a little bit for me right there? Sounds, sounds good, sounds good. And you put, did you put the headers in there? Yes. You did? And then the dumps? The, the exhaust, the exhaust dumps? You yeah. put those in there? Yeah. How long have you had the car? Two years. Two years? It says that the carburetor needs work. Oh. This is close. No. This is a problem. Oh, so the choke's not working? No. All right, so it's got a holly carb in it, but it probably needs to be rebuilt or needs a new carb. That's about 350 bucks. All right, let's take it for a drive. Let's go see that 69. All right. All right, so that's the uh, that's the 70 coupe, guys. That we have. All right, taking her out for a test spin. The kick down doesn't seem to be working. So that's got to be dealt with. Otherwise, she's running pretty smooth. She's got manual brakes. Needs front end alignment. Yeah, carburetor needs to be worked on, and the kick down and the transmission is not working. So that's a heads up on that. Dash looks good though. All right, so uh, we went. We saw unrealistic. Wants too much money for it. Um, he also had a 69, but it's got a salvage title on it. And I don't, I try to steer away from salvage titles, but they can be, you can take them to the DMV and have them reinspected and clear a salvage title on a car. Typically, you want to check it out and just make sure the frame's not uh, bent or any kind of uh, collision damage. Some cars can be uh, salvage titled just simply for minor repairs, and uh, they decide that the insurance company wants to price it lower than that. They sell out the car. 7500 for the coupe, and it just, uh, it's just—it's not worth it. It's absolutely not worth it uh, for us uh, Mustang medics out there. Uh, He'll—I think after a couple of months of trying to sell it, maybe he'll bring the price down. Maybe he won't. But uh, this is not a car that uh, I'm going to offer to uh, one of our uh, viewers. Thanks for watching, guys. Another little lesson in checking out cars. 7500 too much for a 70 coupe. Minimal rust because the amount of work that it needed probably needed about ten thousand dollars worth of uh, uh, parts and then the rest labor. So you do the math and you got seventeen thousand dollars into a seventy coupe. Guys, if your wife thinks she's right, just let her think she's right. That's that's what I've learned in my 13 years of marriage. Just just let them think that they're right. You know right. me for 16, cabezón. I've known you for 16, but I've been married to you for 13. Oh, I've married to you for 14 years? 14 years? Holy crap, you are my old lady. You're <laughs> <laughs> just talking. Uh, okay. Oh, All right. This is what happens. This is, this, is a, this is a typical search. You guys have seen us do much longer trips. This trip was about a half-hour trip, thank God. Um, but... Uh, 
You got to see a lot of turds to find a diamond. Is that is that an expression? <laughs> a lot of turds. And we just saw a lot. turd. We just saw a turd. If it was a fifteen hundred dollar turd, eh, yeah, maybe wasn't maybe, a turd. maybe it wasn't such a turd. But at seventy five hundred, it's a turd. Okay. Um, I'll probably have to do this three, four, five times. But I will find your car. You know who you are. I will find the car that you want. So far, this is the this is the Mustang Medic Alert, guys. We are looking for a '95. We are looking for a '95 uh, to or whoa, she's driving like a race car here. '94 to '98 uh, Mustang manual. It can be crashed. <clears throat> it can be crashed. We just need the drivetrain out of that. The engine drive shaft, rear end, uh, manual transmission. We are looking for a 69 coupe, pretty much rust free. We are also looking for a 70 coupe. And we are looking for a 66 Mustang convertible. All these cars are restoration projects we are looking for. So anything within an hour radius of area code 92262, greatly appreciated. If you do find the car, if you send a message to me, I'll confirm that you're the first person to send it, and you will get a $200 finder's fee for this car, so you'll be able to see it on video. First of all, I'll recognize your name, that I'm going out to see the car, and then if we end up buying that car, of course, you'll see it on video because everything's on video, and you will get a $200 check from Mustang Medic. So, Mustang Medic alert. Let's make some money, guys. Let's find some Mustangs. Let's save them. Ford Mustang search and rescue. Thanks for watching. MustangMedic.com Please look for the link in the description of this video for the next in our video series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com Guys, is she right? Am I talking too much on the videos? Yeah. Give us feedback. Let me know. Is the woman right? Or is the, the Mustang Medic right? Too much Gabby? You always say I talk too much. That's why you knocked off your opponent because you were talking too much. I knocked off my what? Opponent. <laughs> he basically he basically kicked me out of the car, guys. It was pretty funny. I got out and says he was following, so we were able to just get out and leave because he was not realistic on his pricing. It's not worth either one of our time. No, when I wanted to date George, you kept on talking. George? Yeah, George, George was quiet because he thought you wanted me. George is, it was never even a possibility. <laughs> you know, it's, well, I was yeah. trying to hunt George when George oh. ended up being a nightmare. Oh. Yeah, he ended up being a nightmare. I'm just a little bit less of a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. That's marriage. <laughs> if you're single, stay single. That's right. That's all. Oh. <laughs> GT570R. Just went to Lowe's to get some bolts for the uh, for the uh, 66 and saw this car, so I thought you guys would find it interesting. GT570R. Interesting. All right, we're gone.